You guys in a good mood? Glad it's warm finally? Yeah. All right, I'm pissed off because it's warm because the snow melted. That means I've got to rake the leaves from last fall. Still, that fucking sucks. I am glad it's warm though because I'm a smoker. I don't know how many smokers we have in the room. But you know, middle of winter, you gotta go stand outside to smoke nowadays. There were days when it was 20 degrees below zero with a wind chill. I think every smoker's had the same thought when it's that cold. How cold does it have to get before people stop jogging? <laughs> I know smoking is going to kill me slowly, but jogging in that temperature, you're going to die fast, and they're not going to find you till spring, I'm pretty sure. I'll probably be the one to hit you with my truck. I mentioned my wife. My wife and I, we actually met online. We did the computer dating thing. Anybody here night on a computer date? No, nobody wants to fess up to it. Because it sounds kind of pathetic, desperate, weird, whatever. Someone I know, some of you have done it. We didn't want to tell people. For six months, we were going out, people said, how did you meet? We told them we met at the methadone clinic. <laughs> it's nicer. Are you guys computer date? You're kind of giggling like maybe you are. Is that how did you guys meet? Are you together? You're sitting at different tables. I don't know if you realize that. I'm not saying that. They're mute. The fucking audience is heckling each other now. I don't know how that happened. How did you guys meet? Uh, downtown. Downtown. <laughs> Was this an hour ago with $150 cash? What the hell happened here? So you met in a bar. You met in a fucking bar. Is that what you did? Classy. How long have you been out? What is wrong with you? You actually let this man speak? It's clearly you're not married yet. No. A few months. How's it going? I'm going to ask her. Well. I don't want to tell you anything about sign language or body, but she blinked like seven times when she said, well. I don't know what that means. I know you all have the computers at home too. Don't uh, do chat rooms. Chat rooms where you're talking to complete strangers, don't do it because people lie. I don't know why you'd lie to complete strangers, but they do. They lie, lie, lie. I know because I was in the lesbian chat room one day. I was Kanisha that day, and I got busted. I was in there like two minutes. Women are a lot smarter than men. I was in there two minutes. This woman said to me, what size pantyhose do you wear? Every guy in here has no goddamn idea how they measure these things. I didn't know. I'm guessing. I'm thinking two, four, six, small, medium, large. I guessed. I said medium. She said, you're a guy. You're a pervert. Get out of the room. <laughs> sure, now I know I'm queen-sized. <laughs> no, seriously. The C's pinch. Leave that red line right there. The crotch is down there. That's not sexy. <laughs> I want to feel pretty. <laughs> All right, that joke is only for the women and men who've tried on pantyhose, so look around at your table. <laughs> Let's see who's laughing. We moved up here from Florida. Tampa Bay, Florida. Yay! You, you've been to Tampa Bay? <laughs> or just Florida in general? Or are you just going to yell out shit at every joke? You should, well, why wouldn't you? It's heaven. Right. Heaven on earth. Right there. Yeah, just go right on by. We thought, uh, we thought moving to Minnesota, we thought that global warming was going to work in our favor. Apparently not. You still have fucking cold winters here. I didn't realize that. Landmark for Tampa Bay, Florida has got to be the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. You guys aren't familiar with this bridge? Yes! <laughs> One of you are, apparently. It's the bridge that crosses the mouth of Tampa Bay. It's 29,000 feet long. It's scary. It is scary. Yeah. Every year, 15 million cars cross it. They all pay a one dollar toll. Yeah. And every year, on average, about 12 morons, maybe 13, I'm not sure, 12 morons step off the goddamn thing. Yeah. And this is how I know they're morons. There's no way I would want the last thing that I do on the face of this earth to be paying a toll for a bridge I'm not even going to cross. <laughs> I'm going to want at least 50 cents back, you know what I'm saying? They should have a special lane, dollar, 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 suicide, 50 cents. All right, I can get into that. Put it in a parking meter for that guy who can't make up his mind. He's a little depressed, I can live for work, that's bullshit. All right, you all had somebody commit suicide in your family. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Let me tell you what's going to happen if you want to give this a try, by the way. You're going to go to the top of this bridge. You're going to jump 192 feet from the top of the bridge to the water below. It's going to take you three and a half seconds. You're going to be going 75 miles an hour. Chances are, you're not going to live through that. But, twice a week, the Carnival Sensation cruise ship is right underneath that bridge. Don't get ahead of me. It's 172 feet high. The pool on the top deck is only about 50 feet down from where you're going to jump, and it's 10 feet deep. You might miss. 
in which case you came there to kill yourself anyway. But man, if you do this just right, you get a four-day vacation in Mexico. And it only cost you a dollar. <laughs> 50 cents if they implement a plan. 